guys and welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Greg and this is the Starting Eleven show. Uh, we're back from a much needed international break. It's given our physios a little bit of time to to get some of those players who were injured and we had we had quite a few considering it was the beginning of the season but, but they're now getting back to full fitness or are there. Uh, in terms of news, cabot Lewin should be okay. Um, Harrison is back training and uh, Deli Ali and Seamus Coleman are on grass and training with a physio. Uh, but but you know it also means we've got people like Brent Dwight back, uh, back and hopefully fitter than he would have been had we not have had this international break. Dwight McNeil back and, and ready to be integrated. Same with Michael Keane, a few others. Um, and that means we're finally looking at a team here where we've got a few options. We might have to to actually put some consideration into in, into what team Deitch might pick. It's it's tough that we have to go against Arsenal to um, to do that and to you know. You'd like a nice easy game when you come back from an international break with a fresh set of players to ease them in, but uh, it's a bit of a deep end thing here with Arsenal. We seem to be able to get a result against them at home, so uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we, we've got some more attacking talent now um, to choose from, and there will be questions over how they're all integrated. You know, we, we've got two proper number nines. Is there potential for them to coexist and play up front together, move to a more conventional 4 4 2? with sort of Dan Juma, McNeil, Young, uh, Harrison back on his way, a few more wide options. Uh, you've got the question, you know, does Decore still have to play in that number 10 role or can he move back to being a central midfielder? Um, and we'll look at all of that as we go through the team. Um, it's a tough one. It's a very tough one. I don't know if we'll change shape for Arsenal, but I'm going to go with the same shape here just for... Um, um, you know, just to make nothing too bold of a prediction. Pickford in goal, of course, you can you can bet your money on that one. Uh, Patterson, I think, at right back, he's looking a little about a little out of his depth at the moment. Uh, I don't think he was brought in to play this much this quickly. Uh, back to Brentwaite and Tarkovsky, uh, and then Young out on the left could be Mikalenko, of course. What do you guys think about about that? Who who should be there? Would you have Mikalenko there and Young out on the wing, a more advanced role? Midfield, let's go with. Gar uh, Gay and Adana, and keep Decore in that number 10 for now. Out on the right, McNeil. Out on the left, Danjuma. And uh, this is the tough one. Do you put Cabot Lewin straight back in, or do you carry him with Beto? Whilst it feels like we've got a bit of momentum and narrative with him, I'd, I'd stick with Beto for now, and then you can ease Cabot Lewin in um, and not make the mistakes of the past. Of course, that could completely change. You could go maybe a back five where you utilise. Um, Garner as, as a as a fullback, um, more of a flat midfield could be an option. Um, Dan Juma could be used in the middle, uh, push Young out one side and put Mika Lenko at left back. Um, so a lot of different um, a lot of different iterations here. What I really want to know is with all this, I say all this attacking talent with now more than one option. Um, what would you guys go with? How do you think all these people coexist in a team? What do you think our best formation is? And um, how are you feeling, really? Um, one point from four could well be one point from five after this big game. Um, big, tough game. Um, do you think we've been that bad as it suggests? And if we haven't been as bad as that suggests, does it matter? I, I know a lot of people say we're better than we're better than we look, but if we're not getting points on the board, then you know there's no there's no awards for for underperforming so let me know what your team would be and how you're feeling about the rest of the season and i will see you next next week guys Everton!